Hello everyone, here is the review of F1S from the LYF Water series. Now this handset is using a metal body, matte finishing on the sides and shiny silver borders that gives a very elegant look to the handset. It's also pretty lightweight. Reliance F1S handset sports a 5.2 inch screen with a 2.5D curved glass supporting Full HD resolution. There are on-screen navigation buttons as the dedicated buttons are missing. This handset is powered by Snapdragon 652 octa-core processor clocked at 1.8 GHz with Adreno 510 GPU that is packed with 3 GB RAM and 32 GB of internal storage space. There is a 16 megapixel camera on the rear and 5 megapixel on the front. Handset is running Marshmallow out of the box and it's using a USB Type-C port as you can see here. This handset comes with a 3000 mAh non-removable battery. It's a dual SIM handset with a hybrid slot. You can use two nano SIMs or a nano SIM and a micro SD card. Here is the box pack. Let's quickly unbox. Inside the box, you will get the handset, SIM tray, ejector pin, user manual, a warranty card, USB Type-C data cable, standard quality earphone, extra earphone plug caps a plastic case for added protection and the final content is this travel charger 5 volts 2 amp i'm using reliance geosim and it's working you can also see the led notification lighting up this answer is packed with a good number of sensors accelerometer proximity light gyro magnetic and hall there is built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. Front camera comes with front LED flash. Here is the camera interface. You get a lot of options here. Rear camera can shoot in 16 megapixel resolution. Front camera in 5 megapixel resolution. Camera quality is average. For sample images, visit my website. Link is mentioned in the description section below. This handset can record 4K videos. And here is the sample 4K video. I am recording this video in... 4K resolution. I shot this video in 4K resolution and as you can see the focusing is pretty fast. Video turned out really great. Handset is powerful. I got the antitrust score of uh, 81573 and the 3D score was 19244. I'm playing the Asphalt 8 game in the high visual quality mode and it's really smooth. It took me 1 hour 27 minutes to charge from 26% to 100% and on a full charge you can expect about uh, 5 to 7 hours of non-stop moderate to heavy usage. Performance is very good, handset heats up but battery temperature is under control. The maximum battery temperature I encountered was 42 degrees. Sound is loud and clear and I did not find any issues with the network. This is a good handset with a decent price tag of Rs 9599 unfortunately without the fingerprint sensor. For comments and updates visit my website, link is mentioned in the description section below.